Hi, this is saying Today we would like to share how to express the inverse tangent of x in this Marilyn series. In the previous video, we learned that with different shade, the inverse tangent of x with respect to x, we will obtain 1 over 1 plus x squared. Meaning to say, if we integrate both sides with respect to x, we will obtain the inverse tangent of x. So we will use this idea to obtain the Marilyn series of the inverse tangent. So what we have to do, we we'll first let fy be equal to 1 plus y. So from here, instead of using x squared, I will simply use y so that when we come to the differentiation, it's much easier. So we have f at the point 0 is equal to 1 over 1 plus 0 which is 1 so now we come to the first derivative so when we differentiate with respect to y we obtain power bring down so power supposed to be over negative 1 so bring down negative 1 then power minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 become minus 2 which is power 2 so at the point 0 substitute we obtain negative 1 then we differentiate again again power bring down negative negative positive 2 then 1 plus y to the power of 3 then again substitute 0 we obtain 2 so we differentiate again then we obtain so power bring down negative 3 times 2 6 then 1 plus y to the power of 3 become 4 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 then we have minus 6 okay since i already have four non-zero terms so i believe it's enough so let's form the expansion of the function y so fy is equal to, okay, the first term here is equal to 1. So 1 over, this is not a derivative, so we start from 0, then x to the power of, supposed to be x, but the function is y, so we use y to the power of 0. Then we have plus, okay, the second term is negative 1, so we have negative 1 over 1 factorial, y to the power of 1 then we proceed to the second derivative 2 over 2 factorial y to the power of 2 then the third derivative plus negative 6 over 3 factorial over times y to the power of 3 and so on so from here 1 over 0 factorial is equal to 1 then 1 over 1 factorial 1, 2 over 2 factorial 1, 3 over 3 factorial 1. Meaning to say all the coefficients here should be alternately plus minus 1. So we have 1 minus, because positive, negative, this is positive, this is negative, positive, negative become negative. So we have y, then plus y square minus y cube and so on so we have y is equal to x square as we can see we let y be x square so we substitute then we obtain 1 minus x square plus x square square minus x square to the power of 3 so we have 1 minus x square plus x power 4 minus x power 6 and so on this indicate that I have 1 over 1 plus x square is equal to 1 minus x square plus x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 6 and so on so if we integrate both sides with respect to x then we will obtain 
the inverse tangent of x. So integrate 1, we obtain x. Integrate x squared, we obtain 1 over 3x cubed. Power plus 1 over power plus 1. So we proceed. So integrate, we have 1 over 5 x to the power of 5. Then minus 1 over 7 x to the power of 7 and so on. Then we done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.